Captain Marvel continues the long-running MCU tradition of end credit scenes, offering up a pair of them for fans chomping at the bit for anything that might shed further light on what happened after the universe-altering event of Avengers Infinity War. The first is a mid credit scene that ties directly into Avengers Endgame. It takes place at Avengers headquarters back in New York State, sometime after the events of Infinity War. Captain America, Black Widow, War Machine, and Bruce Banner, all in their civilian clothes, watch monitors that chronicle the loss of life worldwide due to the decimation. Cap still has his beard here, which was missing in the Endgame trailer and Super Bowl spot. They are analyzing Nick Fury's pager, dropped during the coda of Infinity War as he disintegrated, which has now stopped transmitting. Widow says she wants to meet whoever is on the other end of that transmission. And then she turns around and there's Captain Marvel behind the Avengers. Captain Marvel asks them one simple question, where's Fury? For now, we can presume this scene takes place in the earlier section of Endgame, probably not unlike how the Doctor Strange end credits scene eventually played out in Thor Ragnarok. Carol Danvers' hair is styled differently in this scene than it was during the main narrative, but what's most notable is that she has not aged since the 90s. The movie never fully explains why she hasn't aged. One trailer did feature Annette Bening's character explaining that the changes to Carol make her stronger and live longer, but we can presume it's as a result of how the Tesseract, aka the Cosmic Cube, affected her. The mid credit scene still leaves unanswered just where Carol has been since the 90s, although we can make some educated guesses. Whether Carol helping the Skrulls find their new home took decades, we can't say for sure. But Carol also told Yon Rog that she was going to end the Kree Skrull War and break the Supreme Intelligence's power. So we assume the events of the inevitable Captain Marvel sequel will take place in the years between the film and Avengers Endgame. In the meantime, we'll presumably get at least a few answers to her whereabouts for the last two decades in Avengers Endgame. Captain Marvel's post credit scene takes place in Nick Fury's office back in the 90s. It's empty, save for Goose the Cat, okay, the flurkin, who coughs off one hell of a hairball, the Tesseract, which he swallowed earlier in the film. He projects it right onto Fury's desk. Well, that's one way to get an Infinity Stone. The Tesseract, you may recall, had been recovered from Arctic waters by Howard Stark following the events of Captain America the First Avenger, and subsequently handed over to S.H.I.E.L.D., where it remained until Loki pilfered it in the First Avengers movie. Thanos then eventually attained it from Loki in Infinity War. We learn in Captain Marvel that Annette Bening's Dr. Wendy Lawson, aka undercover Kree agent Marvell, had the Tesseract on loan from S.H.I.E.L.D. and was using it as the energy source in her hyperspace experiments at Project Pegasus. That Cosmic Cube has seen a lot. Well, what did you think of Captain Marvel's two end credit scenes? Tell us in the comments section. And for more on Captain Marvel, check out our review and watch the cast pick which Avengers Carol Danvers could beat in a fight. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe to IGN wherever you like to watch.